Everybody ready? Anybody? I'm good. Okay. My name is Jared Rollison, J-A-R-E-D-R-O-W-L-I-S-O-N. I'm a captain with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. This morning at approximately 6.26 a.m., the Colorado State Patrol received a report of a single car crash on I-70 westbound at approximately mile marker 324. At approximately 7.20 a.m., Arapahoe County Sheriff's deputies were in the area and arrived to check on the occupants, the people involved in the, the crash. About the same time, shortly thereafter, a state trooper was nearby and attempted to contact a man walking down I-70 some distance from the crash. Uh, the trooper arrived and attempted to contact this man, at which time the trooper noticed that the man had a, hand, uh, a handgun. Uh, the trooper uh, saw this, and about the same time, the man ran into the median of I-70. Once he was in the, uh, in the median, he began trying to flag down passing cars. A red Chevy Tahoe, occupied by two citizens, did stop, at which time the man ordered the two citizens out of the car at gunpoint. He got into the car, and at that point, the suspect fled westbound on I-70. The trooper who observed this gave chase to the Tahoe. The resulting pursuit uh, reached an excess of 100 miles an hour. The pursuit concluded with a crash on the westbound off-ramp at exit 310. A number of law enforcement members were responding from, the, uh, from neighboring agencies, and an exchange of gunfire occurred between the suspect and the law enforcement officers on scene. The conclusion of the incident was when an Arapahoe County Deputy Sheriff fatally shot the suspect. Uh, no officers, deputies, or troopers were injured during this event. Uh, no citizens were injured during this event. And there's no further threat to public safety as well. Um, the 18th Judicial District Critical Response Team is conducting an investigation right now. The officer who was involved in the shooting uh, has been placed on paid administrative leave, which is routine for the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. There will be no suspect information released at this point. Um, that, that's about what we have for the time being. Uh, information is very limited, but I will certainly entertain a few brief questions. Was there anybody in the Tahoe? Did he take, go off with people in the Tahoe, or did they all get out and he was alone in that red car? There are two people when the Tahoe stopped in the car, two citizens, and they were ordered out at gunpoint, and they complied with his orders. They got out, and he left as the sole occupant of that Tahoe. Did, did he point the gun at the uh, deputy? Is that why the deputy responded to him? The details of the shooting itself, the exchange of gunfire, are being investigated and uh, worked out uh, with our investigators, and we're not releasing specific details of that shooting at this point. But did the deputy feel like his life was in danger? There is a significant threat to the deputy's safety and public safety as well during this entire incident. When you say exchange of gunfire, was it someone besides the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Department? Did the troopers fire their weapons at all? How many people were firing from uh, That piece uh, as well, uh, that's another specific piece that is being investigated by the critical response team. The number of shots, the officers involved, uh, those who shot, uh, that is being uh, investigated and sorted out right now. So where was the original accident that started all this? The original accident was on I-70 westbound at approximately mile marker uh, 324. Yeah, 324. Flight for, I know that there's a call for flight for life. Is that just a precautionary be coming out uh, in case? Because I know they said they're going to try to stop the helicopter. Is there something entirely different, uh, separate, separate incident going on? Uh, I've not been aware of Flight for Life being called for this or any other incident. Could be, but I'm not certain of it one way or another. There was a single car accident uh, this past 470. Mm -hmm. It also looked like it may have been a chase. Is that related or is that separate? Totally unrelated to the incident here at exit 310. Is it possible that all of us could go over there and shoot that at these points? Um, We've not been able to. Have well, so long as you're not crossing uh, police lines, sheriff lines, um, and you're being safe as well. Um, 
I mean, there, there's no necessarily restrictions, so. Um, I, I, I may be leaving some out. Uh, I know the Colorado State Patrol was involved with this incident, the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, uh, the Adams County Sheriff's Office, and I believe, I'm not certain, but I believe the Aurora Police Department um, assisted in some capacity. I'm not, I'm not sure to what capacity. Um, the pursuit piece, if you have questions, uh, Trooper Sutherland may be able to discuss some of that. Yes, sir. Uh, stop six, we're deployed by our troopers. Okay. Do you want to do that in a moment? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you're done with me, I switch mics. Uh, we're talking about exchange of gunfire here. How lucky are we that uh, one of the officers wasn't hit in this situation? Uh, in any exchange of gunfire, uh, public safety is at risk, period. And so, in one way or another, there, we're very lucky that there are no officers that were involved or were injured during this incident. Can you talk about how training really focuses on making sure you're aware of your surroundings when you're firing near a highway? I mean, I'm sure that's something you focus on. Of course, uh, general law enforcement training it does certainly include um, being aware of surroundings, uh, being aware of a target, um, being aware of any number of things. Yes. Okay, we'll switch mics to the trooper. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. We'll just make sure and get them all Okay. Great. Perfect. No problem. Thank you for that info. You're welcome. Um, do you have any information on that other crash? Uh, I do not. Okay. Um, I will say that uh, further media releases, information will be, well, for this one as well, will be coming by formal media release. Okay, cool. Our usual means. Okay.